After a promising run in the canceled MAC tournament, including knocking off top seeded Central Michigan, the UT women's basketball team starts a new era. Five of the top seven in last year's rotation moved on from the program, leaving just one starter. The Rockets welcomed six newcomers to the team and have two players returning from injuries that kept them on the sidelines for the duration of last season. For the first time in program history, the team has three sophomore captains who were chosen by their teammates. Kanisha Lockett, Sophia Wired, and Molly Morgan Elliott, who all contributed on court last season. As fall practice unfolds, the Rockets restructure their system, test their strengths and weaknesses, and get used to one another on the court. I don't think you can ever look at the age of a team and say, oh, this may not be the year. I think we, we, just, we have to just keep giving it everything we have, and uh, we certainly have the talent. I want all of our veterans uh, to help teach our younger players because there may be some things as a coach that I miss because it's off to my right and it's out of my vision that they see. And so I think it's a collective teaching. Quinesha Lockett is the lone returning starter on this year's iteration of the Rockets. Lockett makes her mark as a scorer in transition and as a driver in the half court. She's a willing shooter, but struggled with consistency, shooting 24.1% from beyond the arc last season. However, Quinesha shot well from three in high school on solid volume, and with a full offseason in the books, her shot will likely hit with more regularity. Quinesha is also one of the best defenders in the MAC, winning UT's end of season award for best defender. If she continues to expand her offensive repertoire, her defense and veteran leadership will undoubtedly set the tone for a young, athletic group. This group is very scrappy. Uh, they, they anticipate pretty well. Kira Goss and Tatiana Davis and Quinesha Lockett uh, and even Jayla Johnson are great on the ball defenders. When you've got great ball pressure coming up the floor, it makes it easier on everyone else. Molly Morgan Elliott started 11 games as a freshman last season, and her versatility in the front court will be key for the Rockets. She can stretch the floor, rebound at a high level, and is a smart passer. Molly is excellent making quick reads and decisions, keeping the ball circulating in the half court to supplement the primary ball handlers. Junior Lexi Lance saw time off the bench as well, and will be relied upon for minutes at both the four and five spot. They'll be joined by redshirt freshman Yanaya Curry, who missed last season due to an Achilles injury, and a trio of true freshmen in Haley Adewu, Kaylee Bolser, and Sammy McConowitz. In practice right now, everything's very competitive. Like, like we're not, well, we're fighting for minutes, but it's just like nobody's really like thinking about that right now. We're just thinking about making each other better. One of the main points of emphasis from Coach Culp during fall camp has been finding the team's scoring punch. Filling the void of program star, Mariella Santucci, is no easy task. However, Coach Culp says that playing behind and learning from Santucci has prepared Sophia Wired to step into a bigger role as both a scorer and leader. Really kind of saw the things that Mariella was successful at, but kind of honed it into what she does well. You know, she is very capable of being a strong scorer for us, and I hope she continues to look for her shot as well. Uh, but I'm very, very pleased with just how hard she works, how she leads our team, not only by example, uh, but by encouraging them and continuing to demand their best. Wired was the best foul shooter on the team last year and shot a scorching 43.8% from three. She's an exceptional ball handler getting to her spots with ease. Already a good playmaker, a scoring boost will enhance the whole offense as she draws more attention from opponents with her gravity as a shot maker. Wired is eager to get on the court and build off her freshman campaign. Coach Kelp tells me all the time, like, I'm going to need to be more of a scorer this year in a threat on offense. And then um, as, like, a captain, being more, like, vocal, I'm more just kind of, I'm going to work hard, like be a leader by just like example. So I know I need to step up and have both. Senior guard and last season's sixth player of the year, Tatiana Davis, will likely pack a scoring punch for the Rockets as well. Davis took and made the second most threes on the team last season and has upped her volume and efficiency each season with UT. She's also a very good slasher, can play multiple positions well, and create mismatches against opponents with her athleticism. The backcourt and wing rotation will be filled out by three returning players in Mariah Copeland, Jayla Johnson, and Soli Barnes, as well as by the aforementioned Goss, Juco transfer Cassie Colon, and freshman Michaela Purdue. But the Rockets have lost in size from last year, they make up for in athleticism and length. I really feel like we're going to be a good running team this year. Like, we're a little, well, I don't want to say, we're smaller, yes, yeah. but um, we're going to be running and pressing, I would feel. This team is young, but they are talented. Coach Globe says that as of now, the Rocks will play five non-conference games, all within a three to four hour drive of Toledo. The schedule will be released soon, potentially even this week. I'm Mark Schindler for UT10 News.